Jedi, I see you've just joined. Um, quickly say hi, where are you joining us from? And uh, what are you drinking? What's in your cup today? <laughs> hi, um, hi everyone. This is Jedi. I am joining from Venture Resort in Kajado and I am having a water because I'm not feeling very well. Looks like lots of people are having lots of water today. Um, yeah, but Karibu Sana. Uh, Lamin Sane. What? You called my name. I don't follow uh, you. I'm on Zoom. Thank you very, thank, thank you very much, Jeremy, for giving me the opportunity. Um, like you said earlier, this is Lamin Sane um, from the Gambia. Um, this is the first time um, I was given the privilege to be given the GMC grant. Yeah. And I, I have learned so much in terms of um, experiences dealing with this. People in different communities, most especially when it's FGM, even though it is a little bit sensitive, the most part of it to, to, to impact the lives of so many people to have more relevant information um, mm. with regards to FGM. And Amazing. that has definitely made my give me more strength that you know through our collective efforts we can be able to make fgm a history in the gambia and a lot. only when we are yeah. able to communicate to people effectively and to also tell them about some of the laws that are it is it is it is sometimes very disheartening to realize that people don't even know that some of these laws exist in this country <laughs> so i think in terms of the level of the government um, the commitment seems to be lacking, but I think activists can take this advocacy to somewhere else when we are able to give our best to, to our community. So a lot, I, I mean, I, and that's why we're here today. To... That's why we're here yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, be before we dive deep exactly. into that, uh, I, we want to know what, what's in your cup today. What are you having as your drink today? Uh, today, uh, anyway, I, I haven't taken one for now, but I think I, I'm seeing Lalana la, la just in front of me as, as a juice. That is what I'll be taking this morning. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I see Evelyn, uh, press just raised her and uh, her, her hand up, uh, very quickly. Where are you? Um, Hello? maybe you highlight this year and um, what you're taking. Hi, Jeremiah. Hi, all. I'm Evelyn Fred from West Popot County. Um, I benefited this year for a global media campaign uh, grants. At least we did, we did some media. Yeah, I'm re really grateful to be here. I'm really ready to connect and yeah. so, I'm, ha I'm having some chai, <laughs> a cup of tea with me. Thank you. Thanks a lot. You're having a cup of tea. Uh, joining us from, uh, you said West Pokot, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. Lola Ibrahim, I see your hand is up. Yes, my hand is up, Jeremiah, you're right. <laughs> Hello. So, um, hi, everyone. My name is Lola. I am from Nigeria. I live in Abuja. And um, this year has been really, really phenomenal. I've learned a lot. Um, GMC has taught me how to use the media to you know, aid my campaign. And I've also learned how to use um, graphics because a lot of times when I need to do flyers, my graphic artists, either they delay or they don't give me what I want or they are charging me too much. So I've learned to use resources online to do my own graphics. And I must say, it's really, it's mind blowing. However, I have, okay, so yeah. So I've also benefited from um, GMC grants this year. I think maybe twice or three times, I can't even remember, but I know GMC has um, really, really been there for me. They've been very, very supportive, but I seem to be having Zoom fatigue. So I look forward to when uh, we can have an in-person conference with all the campaigners from Kenya, Somalia, maybe sometime in the future when all this um, COVID wahala has um, you know, gone down. Amazing, yeah, Lola. So Thank it. you. Thank you. What's how, I think you were talking about what you bring on for this uh, meeting and you were talking about Fufu. How big is it? <laughs> so I'm from Oshobo. I'm not a Fufu fan. I'm uh, more of Amala. Amala with begiri and they were to soak begiri is beef soup. I don't know if you know what that is. <laughs> and then um, um, Ewedu is um, a type of leaf that we make it, uh, you know, you make it into soup. And it's one of my favorites. I really, really love it. You know, even though I'm cosmopolitan, but 
I'm at heart a, a village girl, so to say. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Lola. Um, Vincent, your hand is up. Sorry, you, you're a little bit far away, Vincent. I can't hear you very well. Am I audible now? Yes, you are. Yes, thank you very much, Jeremiah. Uh, this is Vincent. I'm joining in, in the party today uh, from Korea. Uh, I must say that uh, I'm also one of the grantees from Global Media Campaign on media activities that uh, uh, we've been conducting in Korea. And uh, today I must say that I'm not really settled somewhere. That's why maybe my voice can be uh, far away. Uh, we've been in the field and we are just trying to uh, uh, do the background check and try on rescue mission and here then get reports from uh, our monitors on the ground on the situation about FGM in Korea, Kenya here. And uh, I'm not really having a coffee or anything, but actually I'm having a local, a local drink here called Busara. <laughs> <laughs> Busara is a drink. It's not, 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 it's not really. I think uh, Vince, Vincent uh, went. Uh, water. Uh, yeah, am I now there? Yeah, yeah. We lost you. We lost you uh, when you're describing Busara. I think it's a, it's a really uh, strong yeah, beverage. Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So, uh, yeah, in the field. So looking forward for this party. Thank you, Jeremiah, and the rest of the team. Thanks a lot, Vincent. Uh, uh, Vincent joins us from Korea, uh, where we now have cases that are being reported on FGM searches. I see your hand is up, Domtila, very quickly. Um, where are you joining us from? Your highlights for this year and uh, what's in your cup? Thank you, Jeremiah. My name is Domtila, Tessan from West Pokot County. I'm happy to be part of this conversation today. Uh, maybe I can just begin with what's on my cup. I have dawa. You know dawa? It's a concoction of ginger, limo, lemon, <laughs> and um, yeah, all those things that you know. As you all know that there's an outbreak in Kenya for the flu. So I'm one of the recipients. Uh, <clears throat> so today I'm happy to share that uh, GMC have been in the longest relationship with global media campaign since inception uh, in 2015. So I have learned a lot. It's been a um, very positive growth for me, in, uh, of course, as much as the media is concerned. So we have been able to do a lot of work, uh, working very closely with global media campaign in terms of uh, um, both mainstream media and social media. So, and uh, I don't see this relationship breaking anytime soon. And for the new guys who are joining uh, GMC, uh, we've joined recently, I say, Karibu Sana, this is the place for you. And this is the place for networking. And especially during this period, as we now uh, enter the festive season, there are a lot of uh, crazy things happening around. Uh, right now, my phone is on uh, alert because uh, anytime uh, phone calls are coming in of girls running away from home, girls needing somewhere to be placed. So we're already receiving, receiving cases of girls who are asking for a rescue or asking for protection. So yeah, there's no holiday for us here. Uh, and I've, I think I've mentioned that before that, uh, you know, during the festive season, we don't have time to go uh, for break. So our breaks happens when the girls go back to school. So yeah, thank you. Amazing, Domtila. It's nice to hear from you again. Um, Dr. Chris uh, from um, Nigeria. Are you there, Dr. Chris? It's something that Domtila just mentioned uh, that there is no holiday for campaigners. And uh, I think it's a conversation that we need to have as well. Um, what's happening right now where you are, um, even as you add, you know, um, as, you, as you introduce yourself, um, it would be really nice to add that as well. Uh, Ali okay. Mohammed, I see you. Yeah. Uh, okay, Dr. Chris, you, okay, now I can see you. Yeah. Yes. Chris? I, yeah, I want to welcome colleagues and to say it's been a very beautiful year for us. Have you worked with GMC for the last one year as a grantee, 
it's been wonderful in terms of our exposure on the efficacy of using media to campaign against female genital mutilation. For us, one of the great things we've been able to discover is that people are now beginning to speak up about female genital mutilation. Hitherto, it was like something that was sacrosanct and nobody wants to talk about it. For once, you can find survivors of female genital mutilation in Nigeria now speaking up. And that, that has uh, created changes in the mind of state actors. Today in Enugu State, for instance, we now have Tama Sak. Tama, of course, we all know, is the lady that was abused by her, her cousin, so to say. And today we now have Tama Sak, sexual and sexual and sexual referral center in Enugu State. It's all because of the work of the working with GMC. And we continue to thank God for that. We are still looking forward to more trainings, more exposure uh, with colleagues sharing information and networking because there's power in working together. I remain ever grateful to Maggie, Jeremiah and all the team in the GMC. God bless all of us. Thanks a lot, Dr. Chris. What is, what's in your cup today? My cup is uh, Zobo. Zobo is um, a drink that's um, a local brew that's um, reddish in color, but it brings down blood pressure, basically. Uh -huh. It's a local uh -huh. brew. I, I trust and believe that at some point, uh, Maggie, Jeremiah, you all visit Nigeria and then we share with you some of these local brews that has very therapeutic value. I, th I think we should also consider having a small business because the campaigners with all the work they have would probably need it as well. Thanks a lot, Dr. Thank Chris. You. <laughs> I think you. Thank you, too. All right, thank you very much. Ali Mohammed, I see you. I hope you're now uh, clear. Um, just to remind everyone, we're just so, introducing um, ourselves. Yes, we are just introducing ourselves, uh, what we, where we are, uh, how the year has been uh, for you campaigning against FGM and uh, what are you drinking? Uh, remember, this is our tea party, but the tea depends. It depends on what kind of tea you take from where you are. Ali, if you can hear me. I hear you clearly. And you? Yes. Uh, first, I'm sending all my gratitude greetings to all my fellow activists, wherever they are, Nigeria, Mali, Senegal, everywhere, Somalia. And Ethiopia, how are you, all of you? All is good. Yeah, and then the second group is to you, Jeremiah and Maggie, and the entire team who are not present right here. First of all, unlike other people, I'm just having a water, but not in local view. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then uh, I'm from Kenya, actually from the Nepal region, which is uh, Wajia County specifically bordering Somalia, for those who don't know. Uh, right now, we are having actually so many staff uh, come back of another phase of corona. And uh, the school college are officially having uh, so many cases that are happening in Missouri, Korea, somewhere else. Also similar is happening here. We have a refugee camp, which is the largest one actually in the world, where so many people are affecting their children. Uh, we are following up so many cases. In fact, I could not speak to this meeting today, but I had some uh, big issues. Also, uh, at our GIA county, also, we are neighboring the border of Somalia, of which we are getting so many reports of cross border, although it is not started, but I know how it does when it comes to during the holidays. There are so many, many things to be said, actually. Having all of you right now are differences you know, can make us actually to come with something that can bring a change. Thank you, mm. Jeremiah. Thanks a lot, Ali, and uh, bless you with the water. Uh, make yeah. sure you drink enough. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, and um, Mom Lisa, uh, and if you if you already spoke, put, uh, please uh, just put the hand down um, so that I know who's lifting the hand up. I see Maggie's is up, but we first go to Lisa, if you're there. Hello, Jeremiah, I'm here. Um, hello, everybody. Um, hello. From UK, Kenya, Nigeria, 
uh, all the companions that are out there. My name is Lisa, Kamara from The Gambia. And uh, just like Don Tilla, I've been here from, from the onset. Um, really, for me, it has been quite a journey from, you know, not talking about FGM totally to feeling some sort of discomfort talking about FGM to now just freely talking about it um, at all platforms. It has been a, a, a learning experience for me and, and personal growth personally. And to all the new campaigners, welcome to the family and looking forward to, to meeting each and every one of you someday. Thank you. And to this amazing Jeremiah. Jeremiah, thank you for, you know, making our work uh, 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 you know, uh, stand out um, in, in, in the so much busy uh, internet out there. You, you, you do amazingly um, well. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Lisa. You've not told us what you're having for. Uh, are you having a tea? No, no, no. It's quite warm. I'm just having water, just cold water. <laughs> it's quite warm. Uh, <laughs> all right. That's Mam Lisa Kamara from. Uh, the Gambia. I see um, Maggie's hand is up. Hi, hi. Um, yes, indeed, Lisa. It's been a long time since we were in, in Banjul and it's warm and I hope you can swim because it would be nice to swim because it's raining in London and it's very dark and the city is in a panic because of this new variant. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm drinking coffee, black coffee, and I, I just wanted to say a huge, really a huge thank you to, to everyone because um, we were putting together the figures for the um, for the end of the end of the year newsletter, and I just I just want to share um, them with you all because this is all of your work. We're just the kind of hinge on the door. Uh, a global media campaign except for Jeremiah who holds the door together uh, so I, I just want you to know that in the last year campaigners you guys have done, run 440 media campaigns against FGM in 10 countries our latest new country is Liberia where we just started working and in total have reached over 200 million people with um, anti-FGM messages. And I, I just find it extraordinary just to look at these, at these figures. And, and I just want to say that, you know, uh, one of the other things that we've done at GMC is to measure the impact of your work, really, really put a lot of effort into that to, to say to donors and to funders that this works. So in the last year, we worked with a really um, high-end uh, impact measurement company called 60 Decibels. And again, li listen to these figures, they're amazing. So Alice, uh, who you know, is one of our team, was working hard in Mali with the Mali activists there on a TV jingle campaign. And for after, after six months of um, anti-FGM messages going out every night, it was an 8% drop in the number of parents who said that they were still prepared to cut their children, which is really amazing. And a similar campaign, um, in Nigeria has seen a 14% drop. So I share those figures with you just so you know that all this amazing work that you're part of is, is, is working. So um, I'm so happy I'm drinking coffee. I should be drinking Prosecco, uh, but thank you so much. And another thing, Jeremiah, is I think we should have a kind of weekly pop-up just to kind of chat for an hour about where people can come in and talk about things. But anyway, thank you. I'm so proud to be working with you guys. I'm so proud. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Maggie. I think it's too early to have a Prosecco. Um, <laughs> so please stick with, uh, with coffee for now. Um, yes, and uh, just in the spirit of introducing the team in uh, London, I don't know if you're in London, Alice, but um, just a quick word from you. Um, you've been working a lot in both the English and French speaking countries are coordinating a lot uh, and writing reports. So um, over to you, Alice, if you're there. Hi, hi. Um, yeah, I think I've met some of you, but I'm really happy to be here. Um, like Maggie said, 
you know, forever grateful to be working for you and seeing all the work that you're putting in and how much impact it has. It's been really an amazing year of a lot of impact and and people saying that things are changing and that people's minds are shifting. And it's just, um, yeah, forever. I'm forever grateful to be able to see this and work alongside you all and for you. And thank you, Jeremiah, for holding it all together and always creating spaces for us to talk to each other about different things and through different formats and for learning with each other. It's been an incredibly um, instructive year for me. And I want to thank everyone who's here and who's been working with us throughout this year. Wow, thanks a lot, Alice. And I think uh, you 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 give too much credit, Alice. Uh, you you always work hard so much, yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think it's basically just holding everything together. And uh, when you go crazy, it's just you putting everything. You know, like yeah, calming everything down, and uh, we are all able to focus. So thank it's you. It's all teamwork. <laughs> it's all teamwork. Yeah, that's that's how it is. <laughs> Um, yeah, I see someone who always writes and replies to emails uh, when I send out invites. Um, she always uh, responds. Mildred Sabwami, um, I think since you joined the conversations uh, at GMC, you've always responded to my emails. Uh, and now we have the opportunity to hear your voice. So um, Alice hasn't told us what she's having uh, for uh, as a drink today. Uh, so maybe as she tells us, Mildrin, you would come next Aoi. to just tell us. Well, I was checking online what Kenyan Dawa is, and I would have one, but it's 1 p.m., so I might try and do that later for now. I'm just having ginger tea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ginger tea. Uh, dawa as well is like uh, apparent to that. Just add honey and lemons, and uh, yeah, you'll be good to go. Thank you, Alice. Mildrin, are you there? Just remember that you're trying to um, make it as fast as possible. And uh, just celebrating the year that passed, um, what were your achievements and uh, yeah, um, what you're having for tea? Where are you as well? As you wait for Mildrin, uh, I see, I always have a trouble at pronouncing name. Um, Shuhib, Opsie. Yes, know. boss. Yeah, you have to tell me what uh, what's the correct uh, spelling because I always call you Shakib, but other people call you something different. Yes, but exactly my name is Shuaib of C. Shuaib, okay. Yes. All right. Welcome, Shuaib. Uh, I got it wrong again. But uh, yeah, tell us, um, where are you joining us from and uh, your highlights for the year and what you're having during this meeting? What's in your cup? Uh, firstly, uh, greatly, I'm very glad today is uh, Jum'ah. Uh, it's a free day. Uh, in this meeting, I'm from Chikjiga, uh, Somali region, Ethiopia. Yeah. So uh, can I address uh, success or achieve this year, 21? Yeah, yeah, very briefly. Okay, everybody. Uh, one is in Salamaya of Somali. One is in Salamaya. Okay. Um, as I address uh, a G success at a G for this year, 2021. Wait. <laughs> just very briefly, uh, Shuhib, don't uh, just a summary from the top of your head. Um, what was the best thing that happened to you this year? Um, what made you happy working uh, with fellow campaigners with GMC? You personally as a campaigner, what was the highlight basically? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, ready. Uh, Okay, it's me, Shaib Obsiye from Chichiga. I'm Somali journalist based in Chichiga, uh, who has worked with some of the main media houses in the region for the past year. Uh, 
I currently uh, work for Hong Cable TV in the Somali regional state of Ethiopia. In addition, I am one of the uh, journalists who write on social media from the Somali region of Ethiopia country. For the last year, uh, for the last two years, I was leading the anti-FGM campaign. During that, our campaign has reached millions of Somali region population. We have mobilized Somali region journalists me and media, artists, singers, bandits, doctors association, anti-FGM campaigners, social activists, youth associations, women associations, traditional elders, and religious leaders. So, uh, if I address the success achieved uh, this year, 2021, uh, I and my team have uh, achieved the following achievement. Firstly, uh, we mobilize your social organization, inviting against the FGM better than before. Uh, making our milestone participant, the Islamic scholar, Supreme Islamic uh, Awareness Council, Islamic Sharia Court, justice institutions, and traditional uh, leaders, uh, elders in any activity we accomplish. Conducting a massive awareness in schools by doing a school campaign and creating anti-FGM clubs in secondary schools in Chikchiga, the capital city of Somali regional state. Conducting a, a radio media campaign is to reach the targeted people of patrolist communities living in the remote areas of the region we are 85% based population of Somali region, which are uh, 85. After mobilization, uh, after mobilizing the different media platforms like TVs, radios, and social medias for Somali region, which made fighting against FGM the most talked about topic this year. This is what we did. It gives us, ah. it gives me a great belief. Uh, it gives me it give us, sorry, uh, Grace Blashat mentioned one of the greatest achievements we have achieved this year, which opening a consultative meeting for concerned bearers in finalizing the draft FGM fatwa three times a year. Hmm. We changed the perception of the Islamic scholars in talking about FGM, but made it know to issue legal regulation inviting against the FGM at zero tolerance stage, Jalanji uh, uh, at the moment. Let's come to the uh, Jalanji's face here this year. Uh, uh, if, you could a COVID... brief, if you could make it very brief, uh, uh, Shuhib. Yes. Very, very brief, maybe in two sentences. Uh, yeah, and then you could just proceed. Okay. Uh, uh, can I, I want to share to you our future plan or challenge? Yeah, and yeah, no, just, to... just it's a very casual conversation. We will have uh, our plans, you know, um, maybe further in this conversation, but it's just, you know, we're just meeting over a cup of tea. Uh, so it would be better just to okay. uh, make it very brief. Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, and, and you say, what are you having uh, for for this for this session? Is it a cup of tea, water? What's in your cup? Uh, me? Yes. <laughs> uh, Somali tea. Somali tea. That's that has a yeah. lot of sugar, yeah. Yeah, the, the <laughs> sugar and uh, uh, anagil. My letter of some of Somali anagil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, camel milk camel milk and a lot of sugar and tea <laughs> yeah <laughs> thanks a lot and uh, it's so nice to hear from you today um i see more and more people are joining uh colin sorono uh, we've been working together as well here at gypsy so colin's so just introducing ourselves very quickly and uh saying what we do uh sorry um where we are and um basically what we do as well and um, the highlight of this year, what has been the brightest touch for you this year and what's in your cup? Is it tea? Is it coffee? Uh, the floor is open to you, Collins. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Jeremiah and uh, everybody else um, in this group. I'm so delighted and I'm happy to, to be part of this team. 
And uh, this year has been a very, very exciting year. And I think, I think if there is a year that GMC has made an impact, it's uh, this year. I've been, I've monitored, I think I've monitored um, how GMC has been working. And this so far is one of the best years that I can say. The number of campaigns that I've seen, the amount of impact that I've seen is just, uh, I think, beyond what I thought uh, I will see. So uh, for me, to all the campaigners, I'm very happy of you guys, the kind of work that you do, the impact that you're making, all the journalists uh, together with GMC. Sana. <laughs> so um, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, for me here, I have some, is it soda? I'm taking soda. I don't have coffee. I'll go take coffee later on. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> thank you very much. I'm a journalist professionally, and I've been um, uh, supporting uh, GMC in one or two things. And I look forward to interacting with you all. Thank you. Back to you, Jeremiah. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Hi. Yeah, I think Jeremiah's internet um, maybe left. So uh, maybe should we just go around the meeting and um, everyone can just say how they know that their work has impacted someone or changed someone's mind or how, how maybe you see that it works on a day-to-day -day basis because Maggie mentioned all these kind of big numbers, but it's always good to have other examples of how this works. Um, does someone want to go first? Domtila, maybe? Okay, so can I share what works for me? Yeah, Lola, of course. Okay, so I've noticed that um, when I talk about myself, people open up more. You understand, mm. like um, a lot of survivors um, are afraid of stigma or shame. So I noticed that when I talk about me and how, you know, I was able to overcome my difficulties, people are willing to share their experiences. And I've also noticed that um, instead of coming out to openly condemn the culture or to say, oh, that tradition is bad and this and all of that, it's easier when you tell them that um, this is how it affects the woman. That's when you're talking about female genital mutilation, you know? Mm. If people find, people connect more when you talk about the health effects. And when I come on TV or I'm speaking on radio, or I'm even having a general conversation, I'll tell people that this is what FGM has done to me. And I've met some survivors who, who were also, you know, who were not willing to share their experiences publicly. So I don't um, condemn, I don't, I just try to understand their, their I mean, their, I, I try to respect their privacy. You know, it's work in progress and you don't push somebody too much. But I tell them that it's always good if you can come and share your experiences because that way it's easier for people to identify and to know what FGM does to the woman. You know, there was a time we had a, a webinar and somebody was like, we keep shouting that there are 200 million survivors, but where are these 200 million survivors? Like in Nigeria, we say we have 20 million survivors, but you hardly find people coming out to say, yes, I'm a survivor. So I think that's one of the things that, um, that has worked for me, you know, sharing my own personal experience with people. Mm. Mm, that's really interesting. Thanks, Lola. Um, Evelyn or Domtila, you just raise your yeah. hands. How, how, what, what works for you and how do you know it works? 
Thank you, Alice. So what has worked for me uh, since the moment I started um, championing against FGM has been the understanding of my community, the cultures, what is acceptable for me as a young woman, and uh, what do I need to pass across using other people. So the approach that uh, we use has been the best model so far that will be very successful because the moment you understand your people, and you know what time you're supposed to speak and what time you're supposed to allow another person to speak on your behalf. Uh, that way, your message gets across without you brushing shoulders with anyone. And besides that, what has also been very instrumental in our campaigns uh, is the fact that uh, we, I, I stick to my course. In this FGM space, there are a lot of um, challenges. Um, I, I, I will not mention them, but uh, I'm sure each one of us who is in this space has to encounter a number of uh, challenges along the way. But what has worked for me, Alice, uh, is to remain on course. Uh, I know my purpose and I know what I can do as Domtila. And uh, what I'm not able to do, I do not uh, like um, uh, trouble myself over. And I do not like focus on what other people are doing so much because that way I will lose track on, uh, of my, my campaign. So I focus on the impact, however small it is, that I'm, able, that, I, that I'm able to create in my community. So at least that one has kept me on track. And, uh, and uh, yeah, that's why we keep going strong and we're making a lot of difference in our communities in our own small ways. Thank you. Mm. Thanks, Domtila. So know your audience and remember your focus. Jeremiah is back on. Jeremiah, hi, do you want to take over? We're just going around and seeing um, what works and how do we know it works for everyone it just um we're just going around i think she just i think it's really nice alice just take over the wheel and uh, yeah uh, i'll join in later okay so some just feel free to you know start talking i think everyone can just activate their mic um nyaramba i think you just raised your hands i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right sorry but do you want to tell us what works and how you know it works? Yes. Uh, actually, what has worked for me is number one, by raising people who underwent the FGM cut. And maybe they have tried marriage and it does not work for them because of the way we understand FGM and its repercussions at the end of the day. Then number two, uh, I cannot work as an island. I cannot work as a person only to fight FGM. So I started like uh, seven different village development groups that they could have meetings on their own. Then at the end of the day, they send like a report. And in that report, I could get where it is intense, where they also feel like they're supposed to be spoken from, where they, they, they needed interventions, so it really helped me reach uh, a higher number at a very short period. And then sometimes you find like you maybe needed somewhere to train, but there's somewhere you, people are supposed to go for a rescue. So when you are single, when you're alone, it is very difficult for you to go into three di directions mm. at the same time. But you can at least use your team to tell so-and-so go to this area, plug, have some two, three cops, then from this area, and then at the end of the day, you will sit down and know what have we done for the day? So it has really worked for me. And I know that uh, now that I know Domtila is in West Pokot, it is easier for me if I have a tip off anywhere near West Pokot or West in Pokot, I'll only make a phone call. Hi Domtila, I have ABCD, please can you key in and see what you can help? It is easier for us to reach a bigger number and a bigger region as compared when I'm running from Kisi almost 500 miles to go and uh, rescue a girl in West Pocot. Mm, thank you. Teamwork, teamwork. Thank you for this and for the Dawa recipe as well earlier. Um, Vincent, you were raising your hand. Vincent, are you with us? Uh, yes, I'm there. Hi. Are you there? Yes, I'm there. Are you able to hear me? Yes, we can now. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to just say that it's been 
um, uh, an year of um, exploration and also uh, changing strategies. I must say that one thing that has worked for me as a local campaigner is uh, really, really tapping and also uh, investing in uh, actually using using media as a tool. This is something that um, uh, in my, when I was starting my activism or campaign, I used to take it uh, for just uh, for granted because of the uh, because of the nature the, the nature of, of media. I, I I had a perception that media going to media is very expensive. It is for uh, people who know some people who know some people, and uh, I could really in each time I could get an opportunity I could really uh, take it as a as an opportunity. But I want to say that uh, uh, GMC has really narrowed the gap because um, I've been able to ensure that I amplify the voices of uh, girls at risk, women at risk, uh, the survivors as well. And this is something that has really worked for us uh, and, and, and for me individually. Another thing, I've seen a lot of impact through engagement of media, where I've seen a few uh, or maybe a number of local advocates. Hello. We lost you, Vincent. I think uh, your microphone is maybe, yeah, re re maybe reset it. Am I there? Yeah, perfect now. Okay, so you can only hear me? Yes. Thank you so much. Sorry for the hitch. Uh, it's it's that I'm um, at the at the at, at, at my Shinani. I'm in the local. I'm in the rural. We're trying to follow up on something, but I really need to also put my input. So I was saying that uh, media has really exposed me, has really made me to make networks in the community. The community has been able to um, to understand me, as Nyaramba already said. Uh, they are able to now know what you are doing and why you are doing it, and they are able to give you a shoulder and support. Uh, in whatever you are doing in advocating for uh, abandonment of FGM. And then as well, it has uh, put me close to uh, to other, uh, to other media personnel or maybe those working around media and they're able to give us uh, an opportunity, maybe coverage some uh, once in a while as well. And also when opportunity arises so that you can be able to speak with others. Another thing, another learning is that uh, as a grassroots campaigner, one thing that I've taken is that we, uh, we need to work collectively uh, because ending FGM is, needs, need, needs mass in that collective responsibility. And this one was through the learning uh, during the last cutting season in Korea. Uh, GMC supported us, especially on media, to ensure when, when, when the administration, the police were really hard on us, the government was not giving attention to the mass cutting that was happening in Korea. But I did, it really gave me an open eye because when we went on, on we, when we stormed the, the, the media, when we, we, we reached out to stakeholders, when we amplified our voices and also the voices of girls who are at risk and women, uh, the government really gave us attention. And I remember before that we were receiving maybe some not really threat, but uh, like Vincent, why are you why are you saying that FGM is in Korea? Why are you, why are you saying this and the, the administration? Because the government has protocol in reporting or communication. Uh, like what is happening now in Korea, the government, the, the, the administrative is saying that there's no FGM, but we are able to prove, we are able to share videos, we are able to take videos. I mean, we are able to give the, 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 the status uh, as, it, uh, as it is in the ground. So this happens also last year, and we had to just come up collectively and work together through the support of GMC and other stakeholders. And this was given an attention. And we saw the president giving a directive at the government official institution to take charge of what was happening in Korea. So that is also a, a highlight this year and also looking forward to synthesize, uh, synergize this and also ensure that we continue to use media to ensure that we, uh, we as, as a young person, as a local campaigner, I stand in uh, the gap and also ensure that um, we work towards ending FGM, even for those girls that we work with and young women and also women in general, uh, those in the community, 
Uh, it is our voice uh, for those who are voice voiceless, who cannot speak, who cannot access even media, who cannot uh, access even other institution for us to, to just help them and ensure they are safe to just um, meet their potential and also uh, realize their, their destinies. And then the last thing is about, um, the, the last bit is about maybe look, moving forward. Uh, we re uh, I really need to ensure that I incorporate and that is what I plan for next year. I really want to incorporate working around with survivors to ensure that they are also able to, uh, uh, our, counterpart, my, our counterpart from Nigeria, that is Lola said that, that we say that there are 200 million uh, survivors, but where are they? They need to come and speak out. Like in Korea, only few have come out and speak about the effect and also uh, their experience in FGM that encourage, and we've seen them encouraging and making even other, 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 other people to hear their story, uh, to come out, to get to hear what is the first hand information, what, what happens. Some people even don't know about, uh, when we talk about FGM, they just know it's a cultural practice, but they don't know uh, to what extent of harm do they, they happen to girls and young women. So it's really amazing, uh, regardless of COVID-19 and all that, we are looking forward. So uh, thank you so much. And it has been a, a very, very good experience uh, partnering with GMC, thank you. Back to you, Jeremiah. I don't know if it's back to me. Uh, Alice, if you allow me, I could just jump on. There are two people here. Um, I'm looking at if we still have both of them. No, we just have one of them. Uh, there's a lady called Lanoi. Um, and if you're still in this conversation, Lanoi, just be, it, it's nice because I know that you've been able to write a book about um, FGM and your also personal experiences. So uh, if you could quickly just introduce yourself and... Um, uh, what you do basically, and um, any learnings from your book, because that's where we are at now. Um, yeah, and uh, if if because it's your first time, what's in your cup? And if not uh, on, we can also go to Alice who just joined us, and I also see um, uh, Elizabeth. Thank you. Lanoi, can you hear us? All right, go, go ahead, go ahead. Um, like everyone else, we are now to, a lot of girls are calling us to go students because of this short from December holiday where FGM in Narok has risen again. I think I don't know if this is celebration. They are called Shire here in Narok. So Sorry Lano, we can't hear we can't hear you very well. If you could get closer to the microphone or to your phone or the headphones um to the microphone because you are a little bit far away. Okay. If you could remove the headphones completely, I think that would be better. Oh. Uh, but mm, some girls. Yeah, as I've been taken across the country, across to through the border to Tanzania, so, so we have some difficulty trying to get them. And uh, um, my about the I had someone say to share our stories, our story. That is a very good. Thing, but that is what we have been doing here because people tend to let you know or open up more and tell them your story. And uh, my book is to be launched maybe next year. And uh, I think that is it. <laughs> it's very Okay, uh, sorry, sorry, we couldn't get you very well, Alanoi, um, throughout. 
uh yeah but uh you say that your book is going to be launched next year please let us know uh at least at kumekucha and see uh what you have in uh in store for us so thank you very much and um yeah let's keep the conversation going if you are able to speak uh elizabeth just happy to hear everyone's voices today uh for the next uh, seven minutes as we bring this to a close and then you can just do a quick summary are you there elizabeth i see three hands i don't know if they are old hands dr chris i see you esnas i see you and evelyn so also if you want to speak just uh show uh by putting your hand up uh, there is a small uh, option to do it on the bar down below so just uh, click that and your hand will be up alice are you there alice masinte yes yes i'm here all right quick introduction your highlight for this year your learnings as well and what you have uh, in your cup today Okay, thank you. I'm Alice Masinte, uh, working with a CBO called Naret Intoye, which is based in Kajedo. Uh, Naret Intoye is a Maasai term, which means empowering girls. Yeah, this year we've been having uh, uh, so many, like some challenges, but through uh, various uh, stakeholders and support from people like uh, or companies like uh, GMC, we, are, we were able to spread the message of ending FGM and all other harmful practices. And um, what we have for the end of the year is that we are going to have a, a film, a Masai series called Silanto series. And we're going to, to launch it on 20th December at Kajado. Uh, the film will be showcasing all the harmful cultural practices. It will be directed uh, towards the following themes like FGM, teenage pregnancies, child marriage, and GBV. The aspect is of Maasai girls who have completed school and achieved their dreams despite growing and raised on the environment surrounded by all those uh, cultural practices. Uh, we are going to use the community as the integral part in this series. So um, that is what we are going to have on, on Monday. And we are, we are going to make sure that uh, uh, during the launch, um, the, the series is going, going to be used in maybe in all the media houses with time in Kenya. And also we are going to make sure that uh, uh, it is going to be screened in our schools so girls get to learn through that thank you thanks a lot thanks a lot uh alice and what's in your cup today cup of milk water <laughs> yeah some tea some tea yeah, yeah. Say, uh, you drink tea in, in, in this whole yeah. space all the time all yeah right, thank you very much um so uh, as we bring this to a close i see hands but i think they are old hands um yeah. If you still want to speak, please, this is the last time. Uh, this is a, these are la the last moments as we also bring this to a close. Um, thank, you. thank you, Jeremiah. And, thank you, the entire team. It has been a wonderful evening. Uh, I only want to say that uh, as campaigners of uh, SGBV, we will not tire. We don't have an holiday. We are like uh, the army that works to make sure everybody is safe and sound while we put our life at risk. Also, we, know, we also need to look at uh, what impact does this affect uh, our family. To our next thing, sometimes last year I went for a rescue and uh, I almost lost my life. But I thank God that I'm alive today to call it a testimony. So for us, this side, I'm having around uh, seven different activities between now and uh, the 3rd of January, because we only have two weeks. So within the two weeks, uh, I'm supposed to be having girls doing activities on a daily basis. That is the age of uh, six and below. So if it means going to sing with them, we'll have to go and sing with them so we can put them together. And then in that process, we'll be having uh, radio talks, TV, radio and TV, that is vernacular, because I believe most of them are going to get this information directly from the people who are involved. 
Then I'm, I'm looking at engaging those people that were already have a team of girls to come out and say, truly, I was mutilated. And this is the reason why maybe I'm, I'm single and they give that testimony. So we have the film showing, uh, we have the teen pregnancy talks, the aging, but mainly we do it on the SDBV because we have, like in Kisi, the rate of defilement is very high. It is just as the same as uh, FGM. So we look at defilement and rape, and then we look at FGM, we look at a teen pregnancy and the rate at which girls are dropping out of school. So as we can now at the end of the day, by the end we are saying uh, it's a two week thing. What have we achieved? What is the impact? And they are going back to school. What are they going back to school with? Because now we must work through the globe and, and we must be all about <laughs> the one thing. So that is, I think, what we'll be having from my end. And I know yeah. I'll be sharing what we'll be doing on a daily basis. Thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Esnas. There's someone who hasn't spoken here. Um, I don't know if she's still here. I can't see her. All right, I think she just left. I'm sorry for that. Um, anyone else who has something to add? I see Lanoi on the comment section says, thank you, GMC, working with the Ngape CBO in Narok. We are dealing with girls being hidden. We'll be launching a book, a memoir of an FGM survivor, Caroline Ambas. So it's, an, um, it's on Amazon. Anyone can get one. Uh, anyone can get it. So uh, if you can just go to the chat box if you're interested in that and um, chat, side chat Lanoi on that one. Um, and I also see Sha Shuhib. Uh, yes, boss. Yeah, I see your 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 comments on the uh, on the chat section. Thank you very much. Just encouraging everyone to uh, go there and uh, uh, read what you've been able to achieve. But you say I would like to thank Global Media Campaign on behalf of the Ethiopia team for the tireless tireless fund support for the last two years to end FGM in the Somali region. And says thanks, Maggie. So. Um, I see one new person training, Kenneth Okakuru. I haven't met you yet. I also see Lamin Sane. I think that's from uh, Sierra Leone. We haven't had lots of Sierra Leonean voices today. Um, so if we could just close uh, with those two uh, and anyone else who has something else to say, I'm just really thankful that you're able to do this. Uh, but I also want to hand it over to Alice just in case there's something we've not covered. Alice. After Kenneth and Lamin have spoken, if you have something to say. Kenneth, you there? Would you like to say something? All right, Lamin. All right, Ken, Kenneth says, I joined late. So, yeah, um, Karibu Sana, we almost done. Uh, Alice, yeah, get him. Uh, I, I yeah, thought it was a little bit nice. Yeah, let me apologize for that. Uh, but like I said earlier on, like, uh, this has been my first opportunity uh, to be given a grant on the FDM campaign, even though I have been working in the media, not to talk to people about it because I have said that and I think people have to different subjects. I have seen the gap is getting narrow, and a lot of people are having very clear information. Right? Even in terms of how sensitive it could be, in terms of the people are becoming a little bit worried to talk to other people about it. And, and, and that is one of the most you know, amazing people that I have seen. Most of the people that I have seen, people that have to talk about the practice. And um, that, that clearly uh, shows that, you know, through our collective efforts, we uh, definitely face up to that process make this practice um as a state of the Gambia but it 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 it, it, it there's still more work to do um but especially in terms of it at the at the religious aspect you know still people will bring their 
A lot. I mean, we've not had uh, much of what you say, but thank you very much, uh, all the way from the Gambia. I think we just bring this to a close. Um, Alice um, from uh, the UK. Um, Hello. Probably close this, Alice, if you're still there. Yes. Well, thank you everyone for being here. It was great to listen to everyone and hear what you felt like 2021 was for you thank you jeremiah again for organizing this and inviting everyone if you have any last words now's the time but thank you again and see you very soon all right thank you very much alice um it's an open session grab your cup of tea if it's still open if you have something to say uh this is the time before we say goodbye and um yeah we just get back to work anyone has something to say uh, hello hello everyone hello kenneth yeah good afternoon from delta state in nigeria uh, i want to say the year 2021 has actually been a very challenging one though, because of the breaks we had due to our lockdown here in Nigeria. But it was a little bit positive because we actually pushed ourselves because of the challenges we had and we were able to reach out to a lot of communities and spread the awareness through our campaign of the vulnerability of the girl child. We're able to pass our messages down creating an enlightenment program of the dangers of teenage pregnancy, hazards of unwanted pregnancy, during few of our campaign and our research programs to secondary schools that we were permitted to our sex. And I, I think the impact was really great because we had a lot of positive feedbacks from school proprietors and principals who allowed us to talk to their students during their assembly sections and various programs that they had to spread the awareness of this teenage pregnancy and those vices that actually hamper the girl child. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Kenneth. And uh, it's nice to hear from you today. Um, I think I haven't had a previous um, interaction or conversation with you, but uh, there's always this a beginning and a fruitful one for next year. All Thank right. you. Thank you. And uh, should we say goodbye? And uh, see you next year? Probably not next year, but hopefully next year. See you next year, everyone. Next year, inshallah. See you next year. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you Bye next everybody. year. Season's greeting. See you next year. Season's greetings. Merry Christmas.